five of the West Country's best head chefs sharing one kitchen to launch this year's Exmoor Food Fest. They insist there's no rivalry here, just plenty of mutual respect and a shared passion for the fresh produce that the Southwest has to offer. We're blessed with a larder of fantastic ingredients and there's no, there's no reason really to shop outside. And we're very lucky to live and work in such a beautiful, amazing place that does give us the best the best food and we don't have to do much with it really, it speaks for itself. I've seen a, a glimpse of all the ingredients have been served, I don't know exactly what's on the menu yet, but I've seen James's course, uh, Ed's first course from Woods in Dolverton and obviously I've, I'm just uh, finishing portioning my fish for, for the, uh, the fish course tonight. Close to 30 restaurants in and around Exmoor are involved in the food festival now in its fourth year, all offering special set price menus during the month of February, a time when business in this area can traditionally be rather slow. The host of this year's launch event, Ellis Purnell of the Pine Arms, has been pleased with how successful it's becoming. This is our third year taking part. Last year, the whole buzz online as well, you know, it became massive and this year's looking to be even even better, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a fantastic event. Is it, and I've noticed so many more establishments as well taking part this year. It's absolutely fantastic. It's amazing to see the passion by the restaurants and the chefs and it's great to see so many people actually now emailing through asking which restaurants are taking part. Really, really keen on getting started and we'll have loads and loads of opportunities for um, visitors and locals to check out local restaurants. There's a very foody February in store for West Country diners as they eat their way across Exmoor this month. Bob Cruz, ITV News.